It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 20th, okay? So, you know, the timing is fluid. Um, and I forgot to mention for the new moon reading, the new moon energies tend to, they can last anywhere up to six months. So if you, if you watch that new moon reading, um, keep that in mind. But anyhow, what do we have for around the 20th? What do we have for around the 20th? Six of Pentacles reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Moon card. So all is not as it seems. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. There's a one-sidedness. Somebody's not really giving their fair share. They're not really putting in much effort. One person is putting in more effort than the other. Right here, the Two of Pentacles reversed is unbalanced. Okay, we got some imbalance here. Um, there's lack of flexibility. Somebody is unwilling to adapt or they're trying to do too much or they just don't have time to put in effort or they're just not reciprocating or something like that. Somebody's not, not doing their fair share or something. Nine of Pentacles reverses insecurity. So we may have somebody here that is insecure. Uh, not really taking any action, not a lot of drive or ambition, or there could be an independence issue here. Somebody may be uh, fearful of becoming independent, or they're too independent. Could go both ways. Um, don't want to give up independence. Now, this is fear. The moon is fear, okay? Somebody may be fearful of giving up their independence because we get, this is one and this is two. Or something to do with independence. Either they're fearful of giving up their independence or they want to be independent. This is, this is going back and forth. I'm not sure what I want. I'm really not sure what I want. So that's probably why there's a lack of equality here. A lack of uh, receiving attention or something like that. Ah, Three of Swords Reverse. Now, the Three of Swords Reverse is previous heartbreak. Somebody's been heartbroken in the past. It's already happened. Okay. This is uh, healing. Leaving the past hurts behind. There's been some heartbreak. There's been some heartache. Ooh, the sun reverse. So the sun reverse is sadness, broken marriage, broken relationship, loneliness due to illusion or, you know, loneliness due to disillusion and heartbreak, you know, fear, fearful of putting in any effort, needing to make a choice, needing to be flexible. There's obviously some sort of change here, but somebody is maybe resisting it. It could be dealing with their own insecurities, you know, internally. Ten of Swords reversed. So the Ten of Swords reversed could be something coming back from the dead, right? It already died. It's coming back around. Maybe this, the worst has happened. This is... Uh, recovery problem. Somebody's having a hard time recovering from a loss. There could be some unfinished business here. Death! Well, there is a loss. Somebody's having a hard time overcoming a loss. The death is an ending. This is something, it's interesting, the words that come out of my mouth. Um, something coming back from the dead, and then we get the death card. Okay, so all is not as it seems. This there's fear. There's fear of, you know, the same thing happening again. Um, death is a renewal. It's a rebirth. It's a new beginning. 
that comes after an ending. Something may have ended in the past, and it's and there's a chance for revival. You know, I hate to say that, but there there could be. The death card is a profound change. It's a separation and loss, and I do see it. There's been a previous separation and loss, and maybe another one. I don't know, but this is a... It's an ending that leads to a new beginning. It's not over yet. Something may not be over yet. Could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo. Judgment reverse. There's a need for forgiveness here. And I don't know if I said it, but I was thinking somebody may want another chance. Did I say that? If I didn't, I was thinking that. You know, this is a need for forgiveness, and this is too. So we have two forgiveness cards here, but this is a lack of awareness being put on trial, you know, subject to trial, being questioned. Somebody, you know, uh, maybe going through some sort of change and they're having a hard time this is a hard time accepting the truth or seeing the truth or accepting this is a lack of acceptance and it could definitely be some unfinished business it feels like there's unfinished business here um guilty somebody may be feeling guilty they may they may be feeling guilty um, lack of closure as well, and I don't say that often, but it feels like this is this is sadness. It's it's not happiness, okay? The sun card reverse is sadness, okay? And it's over a loss. There's sadness over a loss, lack of healing, unable to heal, perhaps. Judgment reversed is uh, maybe even feeling ashamed. This is this is. Uh, Moving on from, or a need to move on from a bad choice. Somebody has may have made a poor judgment call in the past. They may want forgiveness, but there's fear. There's fear of maybe rejection, because this is rejection. So somebody may be feeling, or there's there's rejection here. Um, and this is thinking. Somebody is really thinking about what they should do. Somebody is thinking about what they should do knowing that whatever they choose, if they choose to uh, ask for forgiveness, they'll have to answer questions. But this may not survive. You know, the Ten of Swords reverse may or may not survive. So there is an opportunity for a new life, for a new beginning here, but there's definitely a lot of fear. It's probably fearful of rejection. Anyway, um, they may somebody may feel like there's no chance in reconciliation. There's no chance. This is distraught. Somebody was distraught. They may have somebody may have hurt another person really, really badly. This death is an ending. Ooh, there's going to be a, a gathering. There's going to be an. There's going to be a get together. Somebody may not survive. I, I'm sorry. No, I, I'm not trying to make that come out, but it is what it is. This is may or may not survive. This is death. This is a death card too. This one kind of is too because you think about Judgment Day. It's after you've died. You know, or a part of you has. Anyway, the four of the four of you know, a part of you, you know, needing to forgive, needing to accept. Anyhow, four, four of pentacles is a get together. It's a gathering. It's a celebration. It's happiness. So it feels like, you know, there's a, there is a change that is coming after an ending But all is not as it seems. Somebody may be very confused. 
and it could be a very emotional time. There's a need to be gentle here. It's going to be hard to accept. Something is hard to accept. This change is hard to accept, whatever it is. Now, the Two of Pentacles reverse is an imbalance. It's a, it's a poor decision. Somebody's making a poor decision that could fall. Ten of Cups is extreme happiness. It's it's something permanent. It's the storm is over. The storm is over. This is uh, some sort of blessing. Ten of Cups is a blessing. It's a, it is a blessing. So this, this is like a happy relationship, being blessed with happiness. So somebody is going to be blessed with happiness after having some sort of heartache. Could be even heart pain. I mean, and it feels like they could fall. I, I, mean, I don't know what's going on here. But this is this the sun card. It could be poor health. We could have somebody here that has, that is not healthy. They may have some heart problems. They could collapse, okay? I'm just saying. You know, they could collapse. I'm, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but you take a, I mean, it is what it is. Um, Ten of Cups is extreme happiness, though. It's, it's, a rainbow is a symbol of peace. Oh, God. The Four of Swords is, you know, exhausted. Somebody that is very, very much exhausted. They uh, are tired. They may be ill. We may have definitely have somebody here, and this is ill health as well. We may have somebody here, and this is chronically ill as well. We may have somebody here that is chronically ill that this is, uh, the judgment is uh, a wake-up call. It's reversed. They may not, I'm not sure if maybe they don't wake up. I don't know why I have to be the one. Please, I don't want to be the one to give these messages. <laughs> Now, this is praying. Somebody may have been praying for release because this is a release. Praying for change. Now, this is, death is a card of freedom. This is prayers. This is prayers. A five of swords reverse. Now, this is choosing not to fight. Giving up the fight. It is. It's choosing not to fight. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want to be happy. I do. I just want to. I'm not going to fight anymore. I just want to be happy. So. Mm, saying. Leaving. Saying goodbye. Just giving up. So I'm not sure what is going on here. But the five of swords reversed is. Surrendering. I give up. Emperor reversed, not what I wanted to see. Um, the emperor reversed, it could be, you know, this is somebody, this is a, I don't know, I don't know who it is. It could be a father, it could be a father, it could be a husband, it could be a boss, it could be somebody in a position of authority. Uh, this could be somebody that deserts you in the time of need. Maybe they have deserted you, it could be an ex-husband, could be an ex, somebody that abused you. Um... They didn't take very good care of you. This person is mean. They didn't accept responsibility. Um, this or they just don't have any fight left. They've they're done fighting. This is definitely done fighting. Okay, the emperor and the upright is battle ready. This person can't fight anymore. They're done fighting. They don't and they don't want to. Fight. They're done fighting. They give up. They're ready for a new life. And when I say death. Death could be 
a physical death or uh, an emotional one, you know, where you just can't do it anymore. You can't, you can't keep doing what you've been doing. And it's time for a transformation. It's time for a profound life change. Okay. So there is a profound life change here. Or we wouldn't have this card. Okay, this is a profound life change. This is like, you know, it's a change that is needed at this time. Okay. We have an individual here that has no fight left. They don't. That's what I feel like this is. But it does lead to happiness. It's like when this person gives up the fight, when they surrender... They find peace, because this is peace and this is peace. It's happiness. It's time to celebrate. So I do feel like there's an upcoming celebration. This could happen around the 18th. It may not be the 18th. Um, could be the 20th. Um, this is being done on the 20th, right? Or it's for the 20th. Um... Seven of Wands. This this person has fought and fought and fought, and they're on. They've been. It's been a tough. They've been in a really tough position. Now they're now they they're thinking about relocating. They're going to be relocating or. They're thinking, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? And I think that's what happens is they come to the point where there's nothing left here. I might as well go. I might as well go. I might as well, you know, stop fighting. Somebody is giving up the fight. There's going to be a relocation, however you see that is. There's going to be a relocation here. The Knight of Swords reversed. It's all of a sudden. Okay. This is this is uh, explosive energy. You know, when I see the Knight of Swords, especially in reverse, it's kind of like a tower moment. It's an event. Oh, bastard! Do you see it? It's, a, it's kind of like a tower moment. I didn't even have the card yet. Oh, God. Why? Why? And somebody's going to be saying that. Why, why, why? This is a major event, and it is life-changing. I am sorry for your loss. Good luck. <laughs>